Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can check the battery health and status of your Mac. So this should work on all Macs from at least the past 10 years and possibly even more. Um, and it's a good way to check how your battery is doing and whether it might need replacing um, and what the battery health of it is. So let's get straight into it. So in this procedure, I am going to go through a couple of ways that you can check your battery health. Uh, the first way I'm going to do is through Apple's built-in Mac OS checker. And then the second way is using a program called Coconut Battery, which can be used to see some more details about the battery itself. So let's start off with the built-in Mac OS method. So what you'll need to do is take your mouse and go up into the Apple logo on the top left of the menu bar and click that and then you'll see this screen. So then you'll need to hold down the option key on your keyboard like so and you'll see that the about this Mac when you hold it down changes to system information. So then you'll just want to click that and then it brings up a screen like so. So now what you'll need to go to is under the hardware section go down to where it says power and it is in alphabetical order so it makes it nice and easy. So just click power and then you'll see some battery information. So you can see the manufacturer, the device name, some hardware and firmware information and then also charge and health information. So you can see whether it's fully charged, whether it's charging, uh, the full charge capacity, um, so how many milliamp hours it can hold and the state of charge, so my battery is at 56% right now. And we can also see the cycle count and the condition. So that's just some basic information about your battery and the condition is quite important. Um, maybe if it's starting to feel like it's not holding a good capacity anymore. Um, if it says like bad condition or it's worn down, it might be time to replace the battery or buy a new MacBook. So that's a good way to check it. But there is also the more advanced way that I mentioned before using the app called Coconut Battery. So I'll take you through those steps now. So we can close out of this window of system information. So just click that and it will close off. So now go to your default web browser. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using Safari because it's built in. And then in your um, search engine, type in coconut battery, like so, and just click enter. And then it'll bring up a heap of results. And the one you want to look for is the one that says coconut battery by coconutflavor.com. Make sure it's this site. Don't go from any other sites because it could be sketchy or viruses. Um, make sure you go from coconutflavor.com on Google. It's one of the first results. So then you can just click that. And then you'll see a screen like this. So you can download the latest version, which as of the time of recording, it's version 3.9.5. And it also says just down the bottom before you download it, um, you've got to have uh, at minimum Mac OS 10.12 Sierra. Um, so you can't use this version with anything older than that. So make sure you have Sierra or later. And it also supports both Intel and M1 uh, Apple Silicon powered Mac, so um, that works for both of those. So then once you've checked that it is compatible with your software, uh, you can click download uh, the latest version here, and then you'll see it starts downloading. So you can click the downloads menu in the top right of your Safari, and you'll see the um, download happening, and you can check the status. So we'll just let that download, and I'll come back when that's completed. Okay, so it's almost done now, and as you can see, it has completed downloading. So now we can quit out of Safari, and then we can go down to the download section of the dock, um, or if you've changed the default download location, you can go to whatever folder that is, 
and just go into it and then you'll see the application here so you can just click on it there's no installation required um, all you need to do when you see this window is just click open and the app is already downloaded so you can it's asking about checking for updates automatically I'll choose check automatically but you can choose whichever one you want to do and then you'll see a page similar to this so this is the home screen of coconut battery you've got some information about the Mac itself and you can see some more info about the Mac and also the battery you've got information about the current charge and the full charge capacity which is sort of what we could see in the system information but we also get some more information such as battery temperature uh, and how fast uh, how many watts it's charging with and we also have the manufacture date of the battery itself and also the manufacture date of the MacBook and then if you go to the history tab up the top you've also got some information about the history so um, I'm pretty sure if these coconut battery versions, they automatically um, log uh, the history of your battery each time you open it. So you can see at different times what the health was and how quickly it's degrading. Now, obviously, because this is a new app on this computer, it's not going to have that. But if you have this over a couple of years, you'll be able to see how much it's degrading over time and to see what the health was at, at different stages. And you can also see that there's this iOS device tab here. So it says here, connect an iOS device via USB. And this allows you to check the battery health of your iOS device, similar to what you can see about the Mac. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a video um, on how to check the battery health of your iOS device. Um, that will work for both iPhone and iPad. So I'm more than happy to make that if you would like to see that. So um, that's basically the iOS section you can see the history and the Mac and that's basically all there is to this coconut battery app it's very good um, to see uh, the information about your battery and if something's going wrong uh, about how you can diagnose it and to see whether it needs replacing or what the story is with the battery so as I said there's the coconut battery method and there's also the system information method as I mentioned before so there's the two methods there um, and you can try both of them depending on what sort of information you'll be needing for your particular um, MacBook so yeah hopefully this was helpful in determining the battery health and status of your max battery and it was a really helpful tool uh, to help you with diagnosing if there's any problems with it and also just seeing how it's going overall Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.